Hello, Jennies. Genesis Lewis in here. And simply as this. And yes, you're probably wondering, why are you appearing visually in a lot of your videos now? It's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's because my computer that allowed me to make my really good videos are kind of... <clears throat> but I thought, why not? Visually is a lot more providing to people. You know, you people know who I am. You get to feel me. And because most of my energy comes from my hands anyway. I mean, look at this. But other than that. Okay. So this is, I'm actually announcing a new series. And this is going to be the first episode. The new series is called My Top Series. Now, it's sort of like a top 10 list. But instead of being like one video full of top 10 list, 10, or top 15, I'm actually going to do one video describing each number. So I'm going to start with my top t 10 tragic ro relationships. Um, this is actually going to be episode one, and it's going to be discussing the first, number 10. This is going to be discussing the tragic romance between Booker DeWitt and Elizabeth Comstock. Okay. Um, and this is one of the few reasons I had to name this series Relationships, is because of this one reason. Um, Elizabeth and Booker Comstock are characters inside the game Bioshock Infinity. In the beginning of the game and throughout the game, you can kind of sense that they're getting a very loving relationship, that they're in love, and it's understandable. I've played the game like three times. And it's okay to understand that. It's that feeling. But throughout the at the so some halfway through the game, you find out that Booker is actually the father of Elizabeth. Don't worry, you got you probably got as disgusted as I was. But he eventually Throughout the game, you end up finding out it's got more, uh, it's less dark, oh, well, you know, they're in love, lovebirds. It's less lovebirds, more father and daughter. How tragic father and daughter. The reason I call it one of the most tragic is because at the ending, Elizabeth does kill Booker. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, then, understandable. That's why that's tragic. It doesn't just end there. This is one of the few reasons I'm furious at um, ir irrational games, which is not even around anymore, is because what they do is kind of despicable. We could have been okay with the ending of Bioshock Infinity. It fucked many people over. I'm not going to lie. It did me too. But what happened was it eventually went way out of board. We know she killed him because she wanted to stop Comstock from coming back. Understandable. Then you have Burial at Sea. In the DLC for Bioshock Infinity, called Bioshock Infinity Burial at Sea, we find out that one of the Comstocks shaved his face and became basically a Booker to wit down in Rapture. While in Rapture, eventually Elizabeth gets there. It's not part one that I really care about. That's kind of a story. She wants to kill Booker. No, this is mainly about not Comstock. We want part two. Part in episode two of it, Elizabeth, you see that Elizabeth has a horrible decline. I mean, we know that she's dead and it really does mess with your psyche a little. But feeling the energy that throughout it, she ends up talking to herself, trying to talk to Booker, or at least what's left of Booker in her head. It's really sad to me because you can kind of feel, you know, oh my God, Booker, fucking Booker. You know, we all know Booker from Bioshock. He was a pretty cool character. Not as cool as Jack or Subject Delta, but he's a pretty good character. But feeling that she's, like, literally trying to talk to him in her head, and she knows she killed him, too. It's not like, oh, well, how'd you die? Oh, I killed you? No, it's literally, she fucking killed him. And she knows this, and even he knows it, but that's because he even says it in the game. It's all an imagination in her head. By the end of it, you kind of feel pretty tragic because you realize she felt kind of bad without him. And I don't know if you want to put it, oh, it was his father. Oh, it, he was her father. He was her friend. He promised to take her to Paris. I get all that. But still, you get kind of sad because you realize she needed Booker as much as he needed her. Um, this is actually where this is going to end off um, because that was the first one. There will be others. Um, this is going to be a little series. It's going to be top. I might not even call it that. This is just going to be called um, Tragic Relationships, Part 1. Sure. I, I guess that's a good enough name. Um, also, at the end here, wanted to put give a... Oh, I can't. 